So, <clears throat> we're here talking to Kai, yeah? And uh, we're here at uh, Slab City, yeah? And so what I'd like to do is, thanks for, for agreeing to do a video. Most definitely. Yeah. Uh, I was very moved by the music I just heard you play. And normally what I do is I talk about, you know, I ask people about their life. Like, what was it like when you were a little kid? Were your folks together? Do you have siblings? All that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So if you could give me like a really brief rundown about that. Where were you born? I was born in Brooklyn, New York. All right. And um, what year? I was born in 1995. 95. Wow. So you're? 20 years old. 20 years old. All right. And uh, how long have you been on the road? Two years. Two years. All right. So back to your childhood. So you grew up in a family of how many? A uh, family of four. Like, well, a family of six, technically, because it was four kids. Okay. And your mom and dad? Uh, my dad's a grandmaster in martial arts. My, uh, both retired, actually, both my parents. My mom's ex-detective at NYPD. And they grew up, like I guess, like middle, lower class. Okay. <laughs> And um, do you have brothers and sisters? Uh, yeah, I have a twin brother and then two little sisters. And little sisters, how old? Uh, one is 16, the other one is 18. Okay. So did you consider that you had a fairly stable family as you were when you were a little kid? Uh, not really, because I'm adopted. Okay. Uh, I don't really know all the stuff that went into that, though. How old were you when you were adopted into this family? Uh, I have no clue. I was a small child. A really I'll never, small. Huh? Yeah, I'll never ask about it or talk about it. Cause it's like uh -huh. stuff that doesn't really matter to me. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, when did you uh, decide to hit Drop the road? And, or, well, you know, just yeah. be be, to, you know, adopt an alternative lifestyle or however you want to. Well, when I was in sixth grade, I told myself that I was gonna at some point go on my like some point in my life go on a ten year journey of just like learning and experiencing things. But like after I graduated high school, I met this girl named Kayla at a party and she was a train hopper and she told me that she was about to go live on an up and coming treehouse commune in two days and if I wanted to come with her to come with and, get, and she'll like text me and get so I can get the necessary supplies. And how old were you? I was eighteen. Oh wow, okay. And um, so I got all the necessary supplies and stuff, and then I ended up going with her and her mother in a Jeep to the commune. I lived there for a month, and then I went to my first rainbow gathering after that month, and then I got on the road from there. I see. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what had you done prior to that? Like when you were in high school and so forth, what were your interests? And uh, playing guitar, skateboarding, doing graffiti. Uh, I used to write poetry and draw a lot. That's about it. Okay. <laughs> well, how's life on the road treating you so far? Uh, thus far, beautiful, absolutely amazing. Like yeah. I haven't, ha I haven't had any horrible run-ins or anything. I've had stuff happen with cops and stuff. That's just like sleeping in uncanny places and things like that sort. I see. Okay. So, would you be willing to play some of that song that you played while well, that moved me so much when we were with them? Um, I can play a different song. Yeah, that'd be fun. Sunday morning rain is falling Still some cover, shed some skin Ooh. Clouds are shrouding us in moments unforgettable It twists the fifth of mode I'm in Cause things just get so crazy Living life gets hard to do I would gladly hit the road And get up and go if I knew That someday would lead me back to you Oh, that someday would lead me back to you That may be all I Darkness, she is all I see. So 
so calm and rest your bow with me. Driving slow on Sunday morning, and I never want to leave. Thank you so much, man.